Okay, um, a little. Uh, I just had uh, somebody ask me about the thickness on some picks that the, uh, on a pick that I was using for the Offspring Faraway base cover. Um, and so I'm going to show you. It's a custom pick. It's something I, I kind of made, and so it's not something you can get anywhere. But what I start with is a square of polycarbonate, and I can trace out two picks, and and I can cut them out. And I'll do that right now. And then that's where I get my custom picks. Uh, originally, a guy named Daryl Knox out of California lived on my street. He worked for a place called Ridout Plastics, and he was making uh, custom guitar um, pick guards. And he used to make these picks for me. He would, you know, instead of being cut out, they'd be cut out by machine, so they were pretty polished. And they were kind of my secret weapon in the 90s. Uh, they got like a really good tone and they lasted longer than the regular fenders that I was using so I was pretty stoked to use them for for many years anyway they're not easy to cut out with scissors but you can manage and if I wanted to I could sand them down and polish them out just as good as whatever machine he was using to cut them but don't really have to worry about it so anyway so I can't tell you where to buy these all I can tell you is uh, you can order some polycarbonate plastic if you wanted to set yourself up like this and my other friend that lived around the corner from him still works at Ridout Plastic. He's like the number two man. He was a high school shop, high school shop guy, and uh, he took those skills. And he's also a skateboarder, so I think he had a lot to do with research and development of a, a skateboard line. So he's the number two two guy at Ridout Plastics in San Diego, California. So that's one place you could go to get this uh, material, and, and this this is what where this stuff came from. And I've had this for like, you know, probably 20 years. I still have some blanks. So, what you get is a clear pick. And so, as far as how thick they are, I don't know. I got this little micrometer here. So, let's measure it. it comes out to 0.04 oh wait zero point zero four zero inch 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 pattern i don't know if that's i don't know how to convert that to millimeters i, I believe this is an inch calibrator and so that pretty much translates to it's roughly heavier than than a fender heavy pick and it's got a little more resistance because of the polycarbonate material but they do quite, get quite of a quite a uh, uh a really good you know twangy tone out of them um, so that's to uh, satisfy the curiosity of the person that asked the question. I figured I'd, I'd make a complete video on it, and I would just I'm gonna sand this uh, smoother so it's a little looks more like a pick and not something that's homemade. Um, as far as you may be wondering where my base covers have been, I haven't done one in just over a month, and that's because I've been super busy. I've been working on my I got a Nissan Xterra that I, I've been swapping out the um, the alternator, so that's been taking up some time on the weekends. Also, I just been kind of uh, kind of bummed out on the whole the whole music thing, and I just for a while I, I've been in a slump. I haven't seen much point in in doing it, uh, though I do want to get back to bass covers. However, there's a big problem at work where I got switched from the area that I was working in where I, I had some personal space where I could leave a guitar and an amp and, and a music box. And now, where I'm at, I don't really have any room for that. There is room for that in the building, but not where I can keep a, a real good eye on it. And there's no, there's no room in my housekeeping closet for, for the bass. So that has put a damper on it for the time being, and I don't know... If I'm going to find a way to to work it in into my repertoire, I am uh, at a job now where it's very fast paced, and I pretty much just 
pretty much kill myself almost every night and by the by the weekend I'm, I'm pretty dead so um, I do want to get back to base covers but I cannot say when that's gonna happen I just can uh, hope for the best really it, it kind of sucks when uh when work uh, you know when you got to take your job home with you like like I've been having to do and uh, you got to go bed earlier because you're just beat and then you get you get up later because you don't want to get out of bed but anyway that's what's going on with the base covers I hope to return to them soon um, though I may not be able to do it at the same pace I was doing it, but, but I do hope to return to them soon. But anyway, that's the pick, and that's why I made this video. Catch you guys later.